Hi there everyone and welcome back to Tech Cravers. Now if you're an Android user and you're tired of grinding in Pokemon Go to level up and catch Pokemon, I have some great news for you. It has become incredibly easy to hack and GPS spoof in Pokemon Go as an Android user. And with just a few steps you can trick the game into thinking you're somewhere else in the world and access Pokestops, gyms and rare Pokemon that you wouldn't be able to otherwise. But before we dive into the specifics on how to GPS spoof in Pokemon Go, let's talk about the risks involved. Hacking and GPS spoofing are against the game's terms of service and can result in a permanent ban from the game. So while it may seem tempting to take shortcuts to level up quickly, it's important to weigh the potential consequences before deciding whether or not to hack or GPS spoof in Pokemon Go. That being said, for those who are willing to take the risk, GPS spoofing can be a game-changing tool in Pokemon Go. So if you're interested in learning more about how to GPS spoof and perhaps most importantly how to avoid being banned, keep watching this video video. So as I mentioned in the beginning, the best part about this is that it's easier than ever and you don't need to hack or root your Android device for this to work. Just launch your web browser from your device of choice, I'm doing it on my Galaxy S23 Ultra as you can see, and then head over to pgsharp.com. You will immediately get this download link which is for the free version of PG Sharp. You can also get the paid version or the standard version as they call it, which will give you a few more goodies. So depending on what you need, get the version you want, for me the free version is more than enough. Once your download is complete, just go ahead and install it. You might need to tinker with your phone or tablet's security settings before it allows you to install apps from the web. And once your app is installed, just go ahead and launch it. And the first indication that this is working is the star icon we can see up on the left. That is our PG Sharp tool menu which will allow us to do all the cool and fun things that it promises. So just log into the game using an existing account or create a new one. However, I recommend using an account that you wouldn't mind losing in case it gets banned, even if the risks are small if you do it right. So before we talk about how to avoid getting banned, let's define GPS spoofing in case you haven't figured it out yet. GPS spoofing is a method of tricking your smartphone's GPS location into thinking you're somewhere else. This is commonly used in Pokemon Go to cheat the game by making it appear that you're in a different location and therefore able to access Pokestops, gyms and catch Pokemon that you otherwise wouldn't be able to. So let's talk about cooldown. Cooldown is the time period that you have to wait before taking any actions in the game after teleporting to a new location. This is because the game needs to recognize that you've actually moved there from one place to another and not just magically teleported over there. The cooldown time varies depending on the distance you've teleported. The farther you teleport, the longer the cooldown. And here's a breakdown of the cooldown times based on the distance you've traveled. During this cooldown period, you won't be able to catch any Pokemon, spin any Pokestops or battle in any gyms. However, you can still walk around and hatch eggs. It's important to know that if you try to take any actions during the cooldown period, you could get banned from the game. So it's crucial to wait out the cooldown before taking any actions. And one crucial thing to keep in mind is that after installing Pokemon Go via pgsharp.com, your in-game coordinates will default to Central Manhattan the first time you log into the game. If you're not part of the 0.02% of the people who live in Manhattan, you'll need to change your coordinates before logging in for the first time. Alternatively, you can teleport to a different location right away, but remember to be mindful of the cooldown timer that was previously mentioned in this video. Apart from teleporting around the world, PG Sharp enhances the game in other ways as well. Some of the features include auto walking. This feature allows players to automatically walk around the game world without actually physically moving. This can be useful for hatching eggs or collecting items from Pokestops. Joystick control. With PG Sharp, players can control their character's movement using an on-screen joystick, making it easier to navigate around the game world. IV Checker. PG Sharp includes an IV Checker that allows players to quickly check the individual values of their Pokemon without having to use third-party apps or websites. Increased Spawn Rates. PG Sharp can increase the spawn rates of rare Pokemon, making it easier to catch elusive creatures. Customizable settings, PG Sharp offers a range of customizable settings including speeds and walking patterns to tailor the gameplay experience to your preferences. However, once again it's important to remember that using PG Sharp or any other third party app is against the game's terms of service and can result in a permanent ban from the game. 
Players should therefore weigh the potential risks before deciding whether or not to use PG Sharp or any similar app. And that's it for this newly updated tutorial on how to enhance your Pokemon Go experience on your Android device. I hope you found this video helpful and that it has inspired you to explore some of the fantastic features in the PG Sharp toolbox. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider liking and commenting on this video and subscribing to my channel for more content like this. It's unbelievable to think that we're nearly at 10,000 subscribers already, especially considering my initial goal was to reach 100 subscribers in a year when I started this channel just 12 months ago. Thank you so much for your continued support, I'll catch you in the next one and thanks for watching.